This little ditty goes out to the handsome asshole trying to break our loop. Colt, the visionaries are ready to dance. Are you? Hey everyone and welcome to the latest episode of Makeup Level Up. Today I'm going to be doing a look based on Deathloop and you should have heard of it by now. It's the next big game coming out by Bethesda and Arcane. But if you don't, here's what it's about. Deathloop comes from Arcane, the makers of Dishonored and Prey, and looks sick. Playing Cold the Assassin, you're stuck in a time loop on a mysterious and very dodgy island and have to use your supernatural-esque abilities to take out eight targets. And once they're all dead, you think that will free yourself from the time loop. But there's only one way to find out. Standing and shooting in your way is Juliana, another assassin whose mission it is to protect the time loop above all else. She'll be confounding your assassin efforts in Deathloop, and I'm kind of in love with her trash talking already. Anyway, today's look is based off the 70s mid-century style going on in this poster, so let's get going. Now, when you think of assassins, you probably think of like blood, guns, probably some sweet leather like jackets or something like that and an edgy tattoo or scar. But what I loved about Deathloop is that this poster is so poppy and retro and I have to click my fingers when I'm trying to think of a word. So I wanted to base a look off that because the circles that kind of happen in the edges of the poster are just beautiful. I love them. I want them on cushions. So we're going to do that today. But as always, the first thing to do is to prep those eyelids. Now, as you'll have noticed, my skin might be looking a little bit more, let's say rosy than usual, might be a little bit glowing. And yes, that's me trying to find nicer words than saying the word sweating. It's because it's super hot at the moment. We're gonna really hope that this eyeliner and eyeshadow stays in place because I've lately had problems with my eyeliner literally melting on my face because it's so hot. So let's just channel the trash talking energy of Juliana and hope that that doesn't happen. What's that? Have I already done the wrong color on this brush? Yep, I have. God damn. Yeah, this is a super professional way to get rid of an eyeshadow you don't want on your brush. Just rub off on your arm. So the way we're gonna do this is, oh God, the mic is slipping from my very, oh, sweaty thighs. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a darker color at the side of the poster here. Move up to the warmer orange kind of auburn color, I guess is what you call that. And then we're gonna do the circles right at the edge. So first off, get a creaky-ish table that won't creak when I want it to. I've got like a dark kind of reddy brown that I'm just gonna put on the insides of my eyes. Now we don't have a lot of real estate, that's the word, real estate at the moment. So don't put this out too far. It's basically gonna go dark, light, circle. So I'm trying not to put it too far into the middle. That's like there, and now a lighter auburn color just in the middle. Now, if I have the time, I'd also try and do dots on the inside of my eyelid to mimic the poster, but I've got an episode of Resident Evil 7 to film today, so that's not gonna happen. But just like imagine that that's what I'm gonna do on an upgraded version of this. And now I'm gonna blend this in. So we want to do it just here where the two colors meet. They're already quite similar, like I don't think we need to do a lot, but just... Just to make sure that the circle bit is like intact, honorable, all that kind of stuff. That was fairly easy, right? That wasn't too bad. Now it's time for the circles. So I have here different colors of eyeliner. What I'm gonna do is try and draw kind of, what's the word, not interlocking, Russian doll circles, that's what you call it, on the outside of my eye going in. So the first thing is you wanna make sure that the white on the center actually has some space, which by the way is why there are no gels today in today's episode, because I thought I just lean into the void. I just lean into the void. So I'm gonna try and make sure that I don't make it too thick, because I wanna make sure there's enough space for white in the middle. And this is the part where we all pray. Pray to Juliana and her trash talking skills that this goes to plan. circles are so fun when you've got hooded eyes. <sighs> That's a circle, right? Looks like I've got a giant piercing going into my eye and yeah, I already regret saying that, but I mean, that is a circle. It's a circle. Mm -hmm. 
there's one circle. That's good. Let's never touch that again. And now we're gonna keep going lighter. So it's orange next. These eyeliner colors aren't oops, exactly on point. I would want them to be more kind of similar to the ones on the poster, but work with what I've got here. Oh, look, my little brushes are coming to say hello at the bottom. It's a great start. I've just got stuff spilling all over my eyeshadow palette. That's fine. <sighs> Which means I get lower and lower on this table trying to make sure I can see what I'm doing. I want to do a death look. Death look? Oh my god. It's a pun, but it's a good one. I want to do a death loop look for so long. So long. I love the style of the game. I think it looks awesome. I love the whole assassin like relationship trash talk thing that Colt and Juliana have got going on. And as soon as I first saw this poster, I just knew, I knew. I could just see that on myself. So I really hope that it lives up to what I think it's gonna look like. Another circle. Some of this will need going over just at the end, just to make sure there are no gaps in between. But for now, I'm just getting down the very basic ones. Okay, so now we've got yellow, biohazard yellow. Oh my God. This yellow is aggressive. Jesus, it should be like a crash dummy or something. Get right up in there, oh my God. You know you're at the right angle when you can see your nose through your mirror. You can see right up your nose. And lastly, just a hint of blue. The blue doesn't go all the way through on the circle, so I'm just gonna do the tiniest bit on the inside. That's what I'm gonna plan to do anyway. Makeup, you just never know. Okay. 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 Don't like this. Don't like this one little bit just sticking out. Ow, there we go. And now, we're just gonna fill it in with white, and that's just coloring in the lines. So it shouldn't be too hard. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Juliana, fucking help. Okay, this white eyeliner is a lot better quality than my colored eyeliners. So it's going on very well, but that does mean I need to make sure I don't go into the blue at all. I could have used eyeshadow for this bit, but um, I didn't really want to get white on the other bits of the eyeliner, like even just a tiny film, so I decided to go with this instead. Like I always pick looks that are super eyeliner heavy, you'd think I'd learn. I don't actually have a white. Oh, I do. So I might do a tiny bit of white just on the top with my finger once that's dried. But for now, I'm gonna go back over this bit here, because it looks a bit too faint for my liking. I'm doing it one-handed. Oh, fuck. One harder and one mouthed. Oh, it's got to the stage of the episode where I just mumbled to myself. Great, excellent. There's that bit done. Just gonna go over that orange again too. There we go. So I'm now just gonna get the lighter brown and just fill in. There's this like slight edge here. I'm just gonna fill that in very, very lightly. Just make sure it comes all the top. And then I'm gonna get this angled brush and bring that dark brown. What the fuck are you doing? Stay there. Bring this dark brown underneath my eye here. And I'm also now going to get a darker brown than both of those shades and just pull it along my lash line at the top. There we go. So now I'm gonna put on the rest of my face and do a kind of simpler eye on this side because that took quite a long time and I don't wanna risk ruining it. Uh, but I will see all of you in a little bit. So here we go. This is 
it. As you'll see, I went for a kind of similar eye on this side just without all the eyeliner because that would have taken a very long time and I've got to go be spooked by another game very soon. But I love how this looks. I genuinely would just do this eye normally, but I kind of also just love the pop of this. I think with Deathloop, I could have definitely done a little bit more, maybe done some dots here to kind of emulate the poster a bit. But based on like the amount of time I had, I think this turned out pretty god damn well and it goes with my dark brown hair as well so it's just a win all around basically if you enjoyed this episode of makeup level up make sure to like this video and subscribe to eurogamer as we have a new video out every single day and on saturdays you'll get brand new episodes of makeup level up you can also follow us on instagram at team eurogamer to get daily updates about videos we have coming out streams that are scheduled and some behind the scenes stuff as well as well as glimpses at our merch and we have some good merch come out soon so you should definitely be on that now i'm gonna go and cycle home with this look and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna lean into it i think lean into it maybe take some pictures by the beach or something because i'm pretty proud of it um but as always make sure to stay hydrated folks because it is super hot at the moment and i will see you next time mm -hmm.